We're also relieving today. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for coming today. It was really cool this morning. Because now the sun is coming out, so hopefully it'll warm up a bit. Um, but we are planting about 150 trees in Argay, Park Rose, Park Rose Heights, all those woods. So, um, we might be a little short on planting volunteers today, so save your energy and use it wisely, like spread your energy out throughout the morning. There are going to be some IKEA volunteers also, um, but if your crew looks a little thin, um, just take a deep breath and, um, you know, if it ends up being really exhausting and something, you just can't get a tree in for some reason, call Kate um, and she'll try to find a crew that's doing okay and we can kind of come save you or whatever. So we Kate's... Your partner crew is, yep, on your crew list. Um, call your partner crews before you come back. Oh, and if you encounter any issues or anything, Kate's number is on there. Kate is the plan to have you today. And one thing, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll just mention this, but if, if it comes to the point where you only have like one person and you got a lot of trees, leave street trees. If you cannot finish, leave street trees and get yard trees in the ground. We have contractors that can plant street trees. And we have staff that has to plant yard trees, and that's a lot harder than we're planting. Yard, 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 everything's yard. <laughs> You're good. Go for it. Why? Yard, 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 yard. I know, I got six of them. so much. Yeah. <laughs> so um, earlier it was pretty cold, and we were really you know, worried about these bare roots. Um, if you can rearrange your crew in a way that makes sense to plant the bare roots first, it would be better for them so that they don't have to be um, in shock much longer. But Jesse is here to demonstrate and he will show the depth of the bare root planting and maybe the level where it needs to be. Yeah, so essentially you want to plant bare root trees the same way you would plant a, well, the same way depth wise as you plant a bald and burlap container or anything like that. You'd want, um, this looks like a graft. So you'd want to be at your, the same root flare, which is going to be at uh, level or slightly above, as, just as usual. So you'll put your hole, and you want to kind of place it in first, and then uh, get the width of your hole. This would obviously be a pretty big hole, but... Um, shallow. Some, yeah, pretty shallow. You want to dig around, then you can kind of make a little mound at the bottom where you can place your, uh, your bare root tree. And then just kind of, as you're planting, kind of tuck in between the, the roots, the soil. So um, just kind of tuck in along there. And then add water as you go, because that'll help the soil settle in around the roots. And that's essentially it. Having a hose is really nice, because you can just get the hose right into the hole and kind of, um, you know, make the dirt get real close with all those roots. And try to keep the roots moist. Driving around, have them tucked up against the cab, put the burlap or the cardboard over it, so don't have them sticking out the back and just desiccating it. Exactly. <laughs> and at your first house even, you know, take the hose and, and wet those bare roots down. Um, and, and for potted trees, make sure you cut the circling roots, vertical cuts, no circling roots. Very important. And proper depth on it. No. <laughs> yeah, a couple of the container trees have had really bad circling roots really have to get in there, like, go at it, get your anger out, tell just, homeowners to, like, just, yeah, 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 yeah. Or the definitely. Hatchet. Or the hatchet. Yeah, I have a hatchet. <laughs> or your uh, pruners. Really get all those roots down. Yep. Um, all right, so be safe. Um, you guys know tool safety, keep tool faces down, um, stuff like that. And when you guys get back here, we'll load into the trailer, load trash, probably into the or organize your um, stuff coming back as much as possible. If you want to see if homeowners want bamboo or the containers, it's a good way to get rid of it before you come back here. But um, yeah, you guys are going to have a great morning and go grab last minute coffee or goodies.